Have you been pwned? What does it even mean? What does it mean to be pwned? Pwned is a term online that's come to refer to uh, you having some aspect of your personal information released. As hackers have accessed various websites and use their access to dump uh, information about people out onto the internet for other people to find, um, the likelihood is that you may have been pwned. So I haven't actually done this for a while, but there's a website called uh, Have You Have I Been uh, Pwned? And I'm going to use this website to find out if one of my email accounts has been compromised in a data breach. So how does this work? Well. Certain sites use your email address as your account. So if you're on a site that uses an email address and it's an account, and that email and those the, the sites the little the accounts on that site are released and the information that you've revealed to that site is released, then you can use this tool to find out whether or not your your account's been compromised. So okay, uh, I suspect. Well, look, I mean, you know, here we go. There are. 1 billion, 1 billion pwned accounts. That's quite a few. So a lot of people have been subject to a variety of different uh, breaches. And you can see that the site also gives you some sense of what some of the top breaches are. So MySpace, this is hard to read, I know. Uh, MySpace, NetEase, LinkedIn, Adobe. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble now. And, and, and I know that some of these, um, you know, some of these maybe I have a website. So let's find out. Okay, so my, you know, I use a couple of different email addresses. This is a personal email address. Um, oh no, I've been pwned. Pwned a one breached site, last.fm. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so, and, and this tells me a little bit about what happened. So it says that in March 2012, the music website last.fm was hacked and 43 million user accounts were exposed. Um, last night, FM knew of the hack in 2012, uh, but they didn't actually know how much was released into 2016. So you might, you might read something that just find it like mildly terrifying. Like four years went by and they have no idea. Um, so what was released? 37 million unique email addresses, usernames, and passwords stored as unsalted MD5 hashes. I'm not going to explain what this means, but that's not a particularly safe way to store a password. So, uh-oh, uh, my last FM account was pwned. Now, um, am I worried about this? Not particularly. I don't think I've used that site for years, and so I don't think that I'm using a password that I used on that website, but who knows? Um, but this is an example of how this works. So let me try uh, my at Buffalo address. Um, uh-oh. Now, I've, uh-oh, I've got a couple here. Um, so now I've got... Adobe, um, I've got Dropbox, and LinkedIn. Um, and, and again, so these are cases where information about these accounts may have been released onto the internet. Um, now, what would have people found out uh, about me or, or what might, um, might they know? Now, the, this gives you a little bit more information about what was released, email addresses, password hints, passwords, usernames. Um, email addresses, passwords, right? Uh, in this case, email addresses, passwords. So um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so basically, if you used a weak password on some of these websites, because of how the passwords were stored, um, it might be easy for an attacker to recover that password. So what do I do about stuff like this? So the first thing to keep in mind is that anytime you share information with the website, it's possible that that website is going to release it somehow. Uh, not on purpose, but by accident, you might get pwned. Um, the, web, the information that you share could all come out. And you're subject to the security of the website itself. So if the website is badly implemented, and some of these are big sites, and they should have been doing smarter things about how they store this information. So one of the key things to keep in mind when you use accounts online, um, you probably are going to reuse the same username. I did this. I used Challenge and Buffalo to do That's very easy to remember. Don't reuse passwords across multiple sites because anytime you reuse the same password across multiple sites, um, it's you know it's only the weakest site that someone has to break to find out your password. And then of course the first what's the first thing you're going to do when you recover a bunch of accounts and passwords from Dropbox.com? You're going to go try them on LinkedIn and Adobe and like every other website and all the bank websites and things like that. So this is what hackers do. They get one piece of information and they try to reuse that information in other places. So this is kind of a, a neat website. Check it out. Uh, use it to monitor whether your information has been released in a data breach and be careful about what you share online.